is the host of Jeopardy, Alex Trebek. Before Alex Trebek would serve as the host of Jeopardy, one of the most popular game shows in television history for more than 30 years. The more important element of this competition is the fact that in the next half hour, you people will have an opportunity to watch eight very bright young students. Before Alex Trebek would host the popular shows The Wizard of Odds, Double Dare, Pitfall, and High Rollers, and as a newscaster and sportscaster for CBS in both radio and television. Welcome to Celebrity Jeopardy. We've got three wonderful celebrities playing for charity. Sean Connery. Hello, Alex. Burt Reynolds. How you doing? Before Alex Trebek would be parodied on SNL, appear in The Simpsons, and guest star in an episode of How I Met Your Mother. Aren't we forgetting something, Marge? You were down $5,200. But Mr. Trebek... I asked you before the game if you knew the rules, and you said you did. Judges? Alex Trebek, the genial Jeopardy host, with all the answers and reassuring presence in the TV game show landscape for five decades, has died. He was 80 years old. Over 37 seasons, Trebek hosted more than 8,200 episodes of Jeopardy, the most by presenter of any single TV game show. Two of our players have uh, done me. You've done me in college. I wouldn't put it that way, Alex. Oh, but I, I was in... Because I didn't, I didn't play you in- Like Bob Barker, he became a constant face in all our lives and will be forever remembered for his contributions to pop culture. What's going on guys? It's your girl Kara, and with a heavy heart that I bring you the life and career of Alex Trebek prior to his untimely passing here for you on Before They Were Gone. Typically, we post these videos on the main channel before they were famous, but seeing as we cover more timeless celebs, we thought we would post it here on Famous Entertainment. Please leave your condolences in the comments down below, and now let's get into this video video. Alex Trebek was born on July 22, 1940 in Sudbury, Canada, which is about a four-hour drive from where we film these videos, and somewhere that Alex would later refer to as a distant memory. His mother, Lucille Trebek, was a French-Canadian woman with some First Nations ancestry, and his father, George Trebek, was a Ukrainian immigrant who worked as a chef at a local hotel. Speaking about his father, Alex later said, My dad drank pretty heavily and he never missed a day of work in his life. He also describes his father as a hoarder of knickknacks that had a way of proving useful years later. A bright and curious child from a very young age, Alex attended Jesuit schools until the age of 12, which are run by Catholic priests. He decided to leave Sudbury to attend the University of Ottawa High School in our country's capital. After graduating from high school in 1957, Trebek continued on to the University of Ottawa to study philosophy. Upon graduation in 1961, Trebek decided to ditch philosophy and pursue a career in journalism. He landed his first job as a film reporter and newscaster with the CBC and was able to broadcast in both English and French. Merci beaucoup, bonsoir, mesdames et messieurs, et bienvenue à ce match Reach for the Top, Génie en Herbe, qui a deux buts très importants. Premièrement, au vainqueur, ce trophée très sympathique. In 1966, he decided to shift his focus from journalism to the more lucrative field of hosting game shows. He became the host of the Canadian quiz show Reach for the Top, which pitted teams of high school students against each other in academic competitions. And the question is, what is the nickname or real name for each of these famous people. And Denis, yours is, give me the nickname for Sir John A. Macdonald. In 1970, Trebek graduated for hosting the more prominent, nationally televised Canadian game show, Jackpot. In 1973, Trebek decided to leave Canada for Hollywood. His first American television gig was the host of the short-lived 1973 game show, The Wizard of Oz. Now here's the wily wizard himself, Alex Trebek. The show only lasted one season. Trebek married Elaine Kalai in 1974, and they remained married for seven years before divorcing in 1981. In 1990, he wed for a second time to Jean Curavan, and they have three children. 1974, Alex signed on to host another game show called High Rollers. Here's the man with the action, Alex Trebek. <laughs> Thank you very much. 
Alex hosted the show through a pair of two year runs on NBC from 1974 to 76 and again from 1978 to 80. At the same time, he also expanded his repertoire to host other game shows such as the $128,000 question from 1977 to 1978. The star of our show, Alex Trebek. and Pitfall from 1981 to 82, which aired both in the United States and Canada. In 1984, ABC tapped Alex Trebek to host the game show by the famous creator of Wheel of Fortune, Merv Griffin. The show was a revival of popular trivia competition called Jeopardy, which aired from 1964 to 1975 in its first incarnation. Let's play Jeopardy! Six categories for this half. Jeopardy employed a unique format in which clues were offered to the form of answers and contestants answered in the form of questions. I was informed backstage a few minutes ago Ken, Brad, and Jerome wanted to relieve some of the tension and they said we must do the program without trousers. Alex Trebek's version of Jeopardy quickly became one of the most popular game shows in television history, and as its charismatic and unflappable host, Alex became a pop culture icon, winning multiple daytime Emmy Awards for Outstanding Game Show Host over more than three decades on air. Thank you very much, ladies and gentlemen. On behalf of all of us, welcome to America's favorite answer and question game, Jeopardy. Last year, he revealed he was suffering from stage 4 pancreatic cancer in a video posted to the show's official social media channels on March 6, 2019. They also posted a video to YouTube. Just like 50,000 other people in the United States each year, this week I was diagnosed with stage 4 pancreatic cancer. He also joked that he has to keep working due to contractual obligations. I plan to beat the low survival rate statistics for this disease. I have to, because under the terms of my contract, I have to host Jeopardy for three more years. After the news about his health concerns, many celebrities took to Twitter and expressed their condolences, including Ryan Reynolds, William Shatner, and one of his biggest fans, Dane Cook. I love Jeopardy. I can just watch it and get away from it all. This crime of misappropriating bank funds. Jeffrey, what is embezzlement? That's the word. After a long battle with pancreatic cancer, Trebek passed away peacefully at his home on November 8, 2020, surrounded by his family and friends. Prior to his passing, Alex named two possible replacements, Los Angeles Kings play-by-play -play announcer Alex Faust and radio host, author, and legal professor Laura Coates. Our condolences go out to his fans, family, and loved ones.